all been there. We've all had a ball in a sea uh, that we wanted to be underwater. So we've done some lighting, but it still doesn't look underwater because we need those amazing rays coming down from above. So to save our ball, this is what you can do. First, we create the spotlight, move it up and then rotate it around so it's facing down at our ball. And then I'm gonna widen this light so it shines over a wider area. Naturally, the color is gonna to need to be a bit more of an oceany color, something ocean blue. I'll really pump up the power of the light up to 300 and then turn on the volumetric light, as well as check the no illumination tick box. So now we have a cone of light here and you can see the difference with and without the no illumination checkbox ticked. And let's go into visibility and extend it out so it goes a bit further. I'll also extend the inner distance a bit so it doesn't start fading straight out of the box. So now our light cone is a little bit extended and we can start seeing the effects of the volumetric light with the ball casting shadows. But right now it just looks like it's on stage, it doesn't quite look underwater. So I'm going to need to start with some materials, I'll create a new one. I'm going to turn off all channels, but I'm going to turn on luminance and alpha. And in our alpha, I want to create myself a layer shader. And in that layer shader, I want to create a noise. I'm going to set the noise type to be cranal. And I want to turn down the octaves, I'm going to set that to 3. Scale up the noise itself, set that to 200. And I want it to animate. I'm going to set the animation speed to 0.75. So now it's animated and moves a bit like liquid, but I do want to invert these colors. So I'll set the black one to white and the white one to black. And then I want to crush the contrast a bit as well, so it looks a bit sharper. There we go. And let's move up through this layer shader and into the alpha itself and uncheck image alpha so it's used as a luma mat. Now we need something to put this on. I'm going to go with a disc and put that inside the light object so they follow each other. Then I'll move the disc up and scale it up so it covers the entire so it covers the entire light cone. Ooh, that's too far up. Let's move it back. That's a bit better. Then I can add our caustics material, which I will call caustics. And when we render it now, we can see that this cone of light got these lovely interesting rays in it. Let's move into the camera and suddenly that looks a bit more like it's underwater. That's basically the only thing you need to do to get these light rays, but we can probably make it a little bit better. And I will do that in the layer shader by adding an effect, a so-called distort effect. And for that one, I want the noise type to be cranal as well. I will set the strength slightly less and I will set the octaves down to just one. I'm also going to scale it up slightly and the way it animates now is a little bit too quick. I'm going to set the time scale to be 50%. And that's going to slow our animation right down. Now with this distorted like this, I want a bit more contrast in the bass noise. So I'm going to go into that and just tweak the contrast slightly. And then if we do a render, you can see that we have a bit more detail in those light rays coming down. The last thing we need to do now is to make the disc itself invisible. So it's just the light that's visible. So I'm going to add a Cinema 4D compositing tag and just go through and uncheck everything except for cast shadows. So now when it's rendered, we get rid of that hideous disc and we just have these lovely light rays going on. Now there's a lot more you could do to make this seem underwater. You could add murkiness and you could add some caustic lights on the objects. You could add some floating specks in the water. That's all gonna help. But these lovely light rays sure are a good start. So thanks for your time. And until next time, especially if you're drowning at sea, remember to stay in motion. Nice,